Washing the shake tarn fog Just sit back, relax, follow along To the things she says, to the things he does First cool family and just because His kids are PDFNP Two years done, he's on a three I'm ready for a video, so let it be clear Hey, he's vlogging here Hey you guys, say hello <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> I just gave Baby Tart a spanking through the camera because she was hitting Rock Tart and she was in timeout. So I gave her a spanking. There's Rock Tart. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not very good at aiming this FaceTime. Hold that camera still, Mommy Tart. They're trying to show you everything. Here, let me flip it. You flipping That's it? Better. Oh, there. Okay. There you go. There's my baby rock and rollio tard. Give him a kiss for me. Get hey, who's that? <laughs> That's your daddy. Baby tard, give your little brother a kiss. Give your little brother a kiss and tell him sorry. Tell him you're sorry. Good job. Good job. <laughs> All right, I love you, mommy tard. Love you. Let me see you. Let's see how hot you look. Bye. Bye. Hi. Oh, snap. That's a hot Chiquita Bonita right there. Oh, you're so hot. <laughs> I've been cleaning up a storm. You, be yeah, you better be. That's why I go on these trips, so that when I come home, the house will be clean. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm just going to take a break for a couple days. <laughs> All right, I love you guys. Love you. Bye, bye. Love you. Love you. All right, you guys. Okay, wait. Let me see it real quick. You guys remember Beard Tard? Here he is, right here in his little packaging. He's been sleeping in my filing cabinet for about a year now. These fine ladies here, you guys might remember when they, uh, what did you call it? Paper mache? Life cast. Life Life cast. cast. <laughs> she papered mache, carled my face. That's, we didn't use any paper. <laughs> It was all life casting material. I thing. thought it was the I've funniest thing. Yeah. It was That's like so I had to laugh because I was like kind of claustrophobic, and it was so it was so frustrating that I couldn't communicate that it, everything became funny to me. So what are you gonna do with that beard? Um, we're going to attach it to your life cast and yep. give it to the lucky person who bought it. I think, uh, well, one guy won it. He won it from the Project of Awesome. It was a raffle. So they're going to put it on my face. So I, it's like a real straight Carl face. It's a little creepy. And I was a little embarrassed to hand her a package of my beard. It's, creepy, it, it's just kind of gross. Like a, a bag of beard hair. And then they're going to attach it to a, a life cast of my face. It's a big moment for me. What do you do with your iPhone as a mirror? Yeah. Do you really? Yeah. Have you ever thought of that? I just did. But like, I didn't know that. <laughs> That's so inconvenient. Well, how else? I know. I wish there was this freaking screen right there. <sighs> End of a good day. It's beautiful out. I have never seen such a gorgeous sunset. I have. Where? In your eyes. Oh, <laughs> Castle. <laughs> I'm serious, then. <Dan>. Oh. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey. Um, we're just, uh, we're just watching, um... Those. We were kidding! <laughs> <laughs> Great skit, Kasim! <laughs> Welcome, this is my brand new... Uh, uh, what is that, sir? Arcadia? BMC Acadia. This is my rental car, the Kasim. It's, it's like, I want to say Arcadia, but it's Acadia. Uh, isn't that like a, a band? It's a place. Look, this, this, this is Arcadia walking here on the beach. Oh, shit. <laughs> your language. <laughs> I love your guys' music! Arcadia Fire, hi! It's a beautiful sunset out tonight, huh? Oh, beautiful. Serious. Love you guys. Love you. Dude, freaking people are so unfriendly in California. It pisses me off. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I, I guess I love her. Mm, she's tall. And she's pretty cute. She's wearing those big boots. It's like, like, like witch boots or something. But what are they <laughs> doing? Like, why are, why are three chicks dressed in like club outfits? They wanted to. They wanted to look at the sunset. They're not really dressed in club outfits. They're more like. It's a, like mountain climber slash. I, I, I'm gonna read Martha Stewart on yeah. the pier. So on the right, she looks like your sister from back here. <laughs> All right, we're at the beach. We're checking out the sunset. Kasim's hitting on every female girl in my family. He is bound and distant to become a, a tar. What's going on, uh, Katie Lett? What are you doing <laughs> later? <laughs>
Oh, you're married. <laughs> and have how many kids? Okay. She has 18 kids. Okay, let's go to the pier. We're going to go down on the pier, and we're going to check out these waves down on the pier, because the waves are huge right now. Come on, let's go. There's a helicopter circling Venice Beach. He's bound and determined to find the lost swimmer that was swept away at sea earlier today. The close family and friends of Robert T. Malhalahoni. <laughs> Robert T. Mahalahoney? What if that person really Why existed? Why did you even have that in your brain? Well, it just came out that way. I don't know how it worked, but it was a, that guy was lost at sea. Did you ever know Mahalahoney in your brain? <laughs> no. <laughs> so that's, uh, that, uh, that begs a, a question is, how did it come out like that? I think it was mostly, I think I was going to say, like, Mahoney, and then... I think Mahoney and <laughs> alimony came in your head. <laughs> I thought Mahoney owes you some alimony. Us? My name is Mahoney, Jack Mahoney Loney, and I owe you some money. Is this weird that we're, like, kind of on a date? <laughs> it's kind of, we're kind of on a date. <laughs> we're on a date right now. Check out these waves. They look like they're 12 feet. Oh, my gosh. So powerful. The splash is, like, hitting the bottom of the pier. This is gorgeous! You get me excited about all these words you're using. A lot of descriptive language. Look how big those waves are. Big and uh, Splash powerful. All over those long, thick columns. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go. <laughs> prance. I'm skipping. I'm skipping. Well, you know, you just prance. On <laughs> how do you prance? Let me see your prance. <laughs> <laughs> I was joyous, I think is what it was. I was like, oh, we're frolicking on the beach together. Now we're on a date and we're frolicking. Cool. <laughs> well, what do you do on a date? You usually frolic. Hi, Princess Tar. <laughs> no, Hi, Princess no, Tar. no. You guys, listen. We're following this guy right now because he has a surfboard. And I think he's going to jump off the pier. And this might be creepy, but I'm chasing him because I want to film him. I want to film him jumping off the pier. I think he just heard me say chasing. That. Woo! Yeah! Awesome! You must really want to surf. <laughs> I want to do that, dude. What, you want to risk your life for no reason? <laughs> no, that looks so fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jumping off the pier. Sure, he's cool. He's, fucking <laughs> he's got a great body and he's very handsome. He's like athletic, obviously, because of the way his body's outlined in that wetsuit. That's not all there is to. What's up, homie? Hey. What do you want? <laughs> oh, hi, man. I thought you were going to stab me. Thank you no. so much for <laughs> I love you, Timothy De La Ghetto. I love Thanks. your videos. Another... This may look like any other microwave. You may say, Shay, yeah, it's a simple, easy to operate microwave. It's not difficult. There's not a lot of buttons to push. This is a microwave that I got as a wedding present from my grandpa, my dad's dad. And um, he gave this to me and my wife as a wedding present eight eight and a half years ago and when we moved here to venice beach the very first time this is the house that we lived in who remembers this house that's like forever ago anyways um we left this microwave here and it's been here there's been probably uh, hundreds of youtubers in this house anyways it's just kind of cool every time i come back i'm like hey there's my uh there's my, my microwave that my grandpa gave to me i want to get it back so it's like you know, if they ever, maybe what I should do is I should go buy them a new one and then just take that. Because at this point, it'd be kind of, <laughs> be kind of douchey of me to be like, hey guys, yeah, I need my microwave back after it's been here for like a year and a half they've been using it. Anyway, so I'm thinking about maybe just going to buy them one and then taking that as a keepsake. Is that weird to try to, to keep a, your grandpa? <laughs> okay, here I am at Gassum G's house and we're watching. Oh, check it out, check it out. Chocolate rain. <laughs> There's our buddy Tazan Day. We found a nice bearded man here tonight. Dude, I am jealous of that. That is a great growth. It looks good. That song is about diarrhea. <laughs> that deep voice crooner is Tazon Day. With 66 million views, he had one of the biggest internet songs of all time. Where are you from? Grew up in the North Chicago suburbs. I uh, spent time in Seattle, Minneapolis, and now Los Angeles. How old are you? I'm 28. What race are you? I'm 28. I love it. I'm just sitting there like Tazon. Oh, man. Yeah. That just blew my mind. Blew your mind. Did you have a happy child? <laughs> I was pretty happy as a child. He's doing good. I love Tay. That's sweet, man. Chocolate rain. <laughs> oh, snap. 
That's boys to men, right? Is that boys to men? Boys to men and Tay's on day singing Chocolate Rain. That is amazing.